The hope for a better life turned deadly off the coast of Greece again. A boat carrying 46 migrants sunk near the island of Lesbos and 26 people are feared dead. Greece is the passage to the rest of Europe where thousands are arriving, escaping war in the Middle East. As Reid Feist reports, that desperation is prompting new commitments from Canada's political parties to help those on the move. Climbing through windows, a frantic scene as crowds of refugees desperately want to board this train. It's believed to be traveling to Croatia's border with Hungary, hoping it will eventually lead them to Western Europe. But the reality is many have no idea where these trains are destined. What? What? Croatia says 27,000 people have arrived in the country over the past few days after Hungary closed its border with Serbia, causing tensions in the area. The plight even more trying. The migrants face days of extreme heat and now the temperatures have plunged. We wake up because we are feeling cold. That's why it's happening. And you, you can see it. the circumstance is very bad. Even for those making it to the border with Hungary, new steel barriers delayed their arrival. Police there searching people and their belongings. Sit down, please. Sit down, please. In Austria, around 8,000 waited for buses to be taken to Vienna and other places in the country. So three years I was suffering inside. I just tried to run away anyway. And when I get the chance, I just run away and came here. The urgency of the situation is once again drawing calls for Canada to do more. The Liberals pledging to spend $100 million to accept 25,000 migrants by the end of the year. By investing in more caseworkers, by increasing our capacities on the ground, and indeed by looking at the possibility of airlifts. These are things that we can actually get done. We know that the United Nations have asked us to take in 10,000 this year and 46,000 between now and 2019, and that's what the NDP will do. The Conservatives announced Saturday 10,000 refugees would be accepted by September of next year with the help of a special coordinator. Sunday, Stephen Harper said the Liberal and NDP plans are reckless and irresponsible. The other guys in responses chasing headlines over the past month uh, would have made the kinds of decisions that other countries are now regretting. But while Canada and countries around the world bicker about their response, the number of deaths continue to mount. 13 migrants died after their boat collided with a ferry off the Turkish coast. Near Greece, another boat with 46 aboard sank. Only about half were rescued. Thousands fleeing for a new life, risking theirs at the same time. Reed Feist, Global News.